Abigail Salisbury, how are you? Nice to meet you. Maybe this was not the right color to wear. So oh my goodness, I know. They're so still today. That's a great, that's a great number. My name is Renee Haynes Johnson and I will be your MC for this event. Welcome members of the press, esteemed guest speakers, and members of the community. This event serves as a great big thank you to the contributors and supporters of the Wilkinsburg Land Bank. First up to the podium, my friend and colleague, Renee Dolney, Executive Director of the Wilkinsburg Land Bank. Hello everybody, my name is Renee Dolney and I am the Executive Director of the Wilkinsburg Land Bank. Thank you so much for coming out and I'm really glad the weather cooperated. Um, we are here because we are thrilled to announce that uh, we received um, a Gaming Economic and Development Tourism Fund grant for $200,000 and a Pennsylvania Housing Affordability and Rehabilitation Enhancement Fund Award for $150,000. That means the Wilkinsburg Land Bank has been funded $350,000, which is a significant amount of money for us to begin our work. So these grants will be instrumental in advancing the Wilkinsburg Land Bank Residential Redevelopment Phase 1, which will be here in the Turner Elementary School Corridor. Um, it is with deep gratitude that the Wilkinsburg Land Bank acknowledges the unwavering support of Senator Jay Costa, um, former Representative Martel Covington, and our current Representative Abigail Salisbury in securing these grant monies. Um, we decided to focus on the Turner Elementary School Corridor because we have a fantastic school system. This school, if you haven't seen it, is absolutely astonishing. It is beautiful. It is state-of-the-art education. But beyond that, it's the dedication of our teachers and our administrators that really make a difference. And I'm not just saying this. My son went to Wilkinsburg schools. He's a proud graduate of Turner in 2018, so it's not ancient history. Um, I know how great our schools are, and so we are really excited um, uh, about this funding that will allow us to restore numerous abandoned and vacant houses to become welcoming homes for families within this community. The Wilkinsburg Land Bank was established in 2022. Um, and our goals are to address the approximately 1,000 blighted and abandoned properties in Wilkinsburg by converting them into affordable home ownership options for low to moderate income first time home buyers. We have a commitment to creating a healthy, safe, enriched, and secure Wilkinsburg. Um, and we aim to eradicate blighted properties and replace them with restored homes occupied by new homeowners. We can only do this with the cooperation of our elected officials, and I would like to thank um, not just our state senator and representative, but also our school board, members of whom are here, and also our elected um, borough council officials who really worked with us to get this thing off the ground. So we really appreciate all of your help. This is a community-wide effort, um, and we look forward to moving forward with our governor bo governing bodies. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you, Renee. Next up, I'd like to welcome the mayor of Wilkinsburg, Mayor Dante Cummins. Good afternoon, everyone. As the words of our esteemed Major League Football League, why not Wilkinsburg? Uh, today is beautiful. Uh, it's rare that you see so many different elected officials all in one place, but this is true government coming together, working for the greater good of Wilkinsburg. Wilkinsburg. You know, we had a low time for a long time, so now we're under a microscope and we're actually going in an upward trajectory, and it's a beautiful thing. You know, we got school board, we got representatives, we got council, council people, you know, senators, all coming together, committee people. You know, we even got you know, all the community out here now. It's just a perfect time, a perfect day. The clouds left over us, and I just want to thank Renee and Renee, so should I just say Renee times two for uh, for today and putting this whole land bank thing together, man. It shows how community can come together and do things on their own, you know. Rarely do you see people who could have gave up 
climb back out out of the trenches just for this beautiful thing. All the funding's coming together. When I first talked to, talked to Renee Donnelly about this land bank, I thought it was the perfect idea. We could have joined another one where they probably could have fixed up one house a year, maybe every other year. But when we do it ourselves, we put it in our hands to take it to a whole nother level. And that's what the world needs to see. Wilkinsburg is the sixth largest black neighborhood in Pennsylvania. So it's now time for the representation to show it. Time for us to go forward and just be the great, the best Wilkinsburg that we can be. And I'm just looking forward to all of these houses getting fixed up. We already have interest from thousands of people who wants to be a part of this and, you know, buy homes and move their family in here. We have businesses that want to become part of Wilkinsburg. So it's a perfect time as we see we're next to the city of Pittsburgh. Over the last 10 years, 10,000 black people left the city. They didn't leave Allegheny County, though. They went in other neighborhoods like Edgewood, Swissville, Rankin, Penn Hills, Moreauville. Why not Wilkesburg? We got the, the cheapest <laughs> taxes in the area next to the city. So it's time to uh, bring our families back. It's time to come home to Wilkesburg and do a one Wilkesburg. Thank you all for coming out today. I really appreciate y'all. Shouts out to the future. Next comes a long-term Wilkinsburg supporter and friend, Senator Jay Costa. Thank you very much and good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Jay. Thank you very much for the opportunity to come by and to say a few words and be a part of this exciting announcement. You know, we've talked a lot about programs and projects that allow for investment in communities and neighborhoods. And I got to tell you, the Wilkinsburg Land Bank, uh, when I first had our first Zoom conversation, Renee, I think it was a while back, where'd she go? Yeah. It was many, maybe a year or so, more than a year ago, came and presented the idea of, of this land bank. And knowing the history of land banks in, let's say, neighboring communities, not naming by name, uh, <laughs> that haven't been able to get off the ground at all, uh, knowing that the program that was presented and offered really demonstrated a plan to be able to be successful to be able to garner the resources to make the investments in the community, particularly here in Wilkesburg and up and down the community here by Turner School. I think that, that was really impressed with that, and I was able to work with them, my colleague, Representative Covington, to be able to garner together support and be able to convince not only FAIR, the PHFA folks, but also the Allegheny County folks that it would be a good investment, and together we were able to do that, and I was pleased to be able to join him in that regard, how important it was. When you talk about stabilizing neighborhoods and stabilizing communities. It starts with the homes that are there now. Sometimes you just can't build your way to a good neighborhood and a good community. And what we need to do is make it certain we have a process and an investments to be able to achieve what needs to be done with respect to rehabbing our communities, rehabbing our homes one by one so families can come back to the community that they may have once lived in or had abandoned at one point in time. So I'm excited to be here, glad to be part of what's taking place. Look forward to the opportunity to continue to be able to drive resources not only to this work that's being done here and to the land bank, but other programming needs to take place in the community that we've been a part of as well. So Representative Abigail Salisbury and I look forward to being a part of that conversation going forward and likely uh, to be successful in, in the near future. So thanks for having me. Thank you for the great work that's being done, and thank you for really putting together a plan and a land, and, and land bank that's going to be successful, and you've already demonstrated that already. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Vicissitudes of fortune. Anybody ever hear about that? Well, the vicissitudes of fortune in the last statewide redistricting and election results placed Wilkinsburg in the hardworking, capable hands of our newest state representative. Please welcome Miss Abigail Salisbury. address blight in these areas. And I was 
fortunate enough to be able to be a, a resident of Wilkinsburg. My husband and I used to live in Wilkinsburg over on Hampton. I built my law practice on Penwood Avenue, and I've been a proud member of the Wilkinsburg Chamber of Commerce and the business community here, and I really think that there's so much opportunity here. When I have spoken to people about blight in this area, they so often refer to many of these properties, the types of properties that would be eligible to be acquired by a land bank, as if they were a negative. But I think that there's a strong opportunity to look at them as an asset on our balance sheet in this district, instead of something that can be pulling us down. There's something that is an opportunity for affordable housing, for people to have a place to build their business, for people to be able to build a community. And I think that a land bank is a truly important tool in any community's toolbox to be able to make those improvements. I was pleased to be able to pass land bank legislation in the House uh, just in the last month here, and we have, I think, a lot of opportunities to be able to build up this community and really give people a chance to succeed on their own terms. Everybody has a different definition of success, so my goal is to be able to provide people with the opportunity to succeed in the way that that word touches them. So I want to congratulate the Land Bank, I want to say best wishes to, my land, to the Land Bank, and I look so forward to working with uh, not only the school district, the municipality, the county, the Land Bank, to make it possible to uh, fight blight and to improve the community in ways that are meaningful to the people who already live here, as well as new neighbors that may come to join us. Thank you so very much, and congratulations. We look forward to working together. Our next speaker is our former state representative who began good works. Mr. Covington, you are gone, but not forgotten. Thank you. He's Please welcome <laughs> Martel Covington. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm so glad to be here today uh, to be able to celebrate this recognition. Uh, thank you, Renee, for, for the invitation and having me here. Um, oftentimes, once your, your term is ended, you're not often invited back. So I'm so truly touched uh, to be here in Wilkinsburg with family and friends. And uh, for me, I grew up not too far from uh, Wilkinsburg over in Homewood. And uh, weekends, I spent on Wood Street all the time. I remember the heyday of, of Wilkinsburg, even though I'm 36, talking about a heyday. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity uh, to work with State Senator Jay Costa for five years and do a lot of amazing work in Wilkinsburg and be able to continue some of that work as a state representative last year as the uh, last representative uh, for District 24 in which Wilkinsburg was in. Um, me and Renee had several different meetings and she had a vision and I believed in that vision. And it's just such a blessing to be able to provide investment and in a vision that you see and it impacts people that look like you that are from where you're from and uh, good neighbors. So I'm grateful to be here today. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to have an impact in the time that I did have in the state legislature. I look forward to visiting. Uh, so thanks again, Renee. Thank you all.